Hello juniors, my name is Jessica Gonzalez and I'm a program specialist at our Holyoke Leadership Center. This week we're going to work toward earning our Mechanical Engineering Balloon Car Badge. To start, we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between two different types of energy that are going to affect the success of your balloon car's movement. One of those is called potential energy. So if you think about the word potential, if someone says that you have a lot of potential, it means that you have a really great skill or you have the talent to pursue something. So if someone says that you have a lot of potential as an artist, it means that you are a great artist, you're creative, your work is unique and it's beautiful and they really think that you could pursue that as a career or in college. So they really think you have potential or a lot of talent that can bring you into the next phase of your life. Okay, so potential when we're talking about energy is kind of similar. So it's the actual likelihood that your object is going to move in the direction that you want it to go. So potential results from an object's position and it's kind of like stored energy. So if you think about yourself as having stored energy or stored potential, it means that you really have the talent or the skill to successfully complete that task or that job. When you're talking about energy, potential is like if you're on a roller coaster and you're going up the hill and you get right to the top, and you know how it kind of stops and you get scared, you're like, oh my god, it's going to go down the hill. That's where that potential energy is really kind of like, it's, it's storing right there so that you can be ready to go down the roller coaster. Okay, so it's built up as you're going up this hill, as you're getting ready, it's building up your potential and your stored energy to move into the next phase, which is kinetic energy. So we're going from the energy that is stored inside of our roller coaster car, then we're moving into kinetic, which re kinetic, <laughs> excuse me, which results from an object's motion. So if the stored potential energy is what gets us up that hill and right to the top of the roller coaster, the kinetic energy is what actually propels us forward and we take off. So if you think about it, when you get to the top, you have all that stored energy. Now, as the car starts to go over the hill and it drops, think about how fast you go when you get into that swoop. Like you go down the hill and you think, oh gosh, the roller coaster is just going to go like this when it gets to the hoop, but it doesn't. It keeps going. It gets in that loop and it just has so much stored energy that it just keeps going. So you start out by building up that energy to move forward. And then as soon as you start that movement, that process of going forward, the kinetic energy kind of jumps in and says, all right, let's go. And it just uses your stored energy to move you from one place to another. So when you're thinking about your balloon cars, you want to be very thoughtful about how am I going to create something that is not only going to be light and easy to move or easier, I should say, but also something that's really going to be able to propel itself forward. So you want to think about if I don't have this on a hill, if I have this on a flat surface, what can I use to propel it forward and, and force it to go into kinetic energy? Because it's already going to have its stored energy. But how are you going to get it to continue to move forward? So there's a lot of different things you got to think about there. All right, girls, so I hope you have fun making your balloon car. I have given you some different examples of how you could build it, but of course, your creativity is always welcome. So I wish you good luck, and I hope you enjoy it.